Okay, so at this stage in the look, we have two nodes. We have our first node, which is providing our primary color correction, and our second node, which is providing our secondary color correction. And now what I wanna do is add a third node that we're gonna use to add some focus to our subject in the shot. And so this time to add the node, I'm just gonna go up to nodes, I'm gonna do add serial node, and you'll see that puts the node right in sequence in my node tree. And in this third node, what I'm gonna to do to bring focus to her face is just desaturate the background. And that'll sort of allow her face to stand out from everything else that's going on behind her. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go into my power window and I'm gonna add a new circular power window. And what I wanna do is drag that over her face and adjust it so that it covers the area that I want to stay saturated. And once I have that done, I'm gonna go down here into the primaries control. And I'm just gonna bring the saturation down to about 39. And you'll notice when I do that, it's actually desaturating her face, which is the opposite effect that I wanna have happen. So over here, I'm just gonna click on this invert button and that will invert the area that the power window is affecting. And as you can see, I've sort of desaturated the woods, but her face stays nice and vibrant. And just so that you can really see what this power window is doing, I um, can just show you a quick uh, before and after. So this is before, and this is after. And as you can see, it's a subtle effect, but it does help to bring some attention to her face and reduces the presence of the background. Now this looks great, but because we're working with video and obviously there's motion involved, um, this, one, this one frame is fantastic, but if I sort of scroll through the shot, you'll see that her face moves out of the power window, but the saturation stays in the same spot, which is something that we definitely don't want to have happen. So in order to follow her face and have the power window stay with her, I'm going to use the tracker in DaVinci Resolve. I'm just going to go here to the tracker panel. And down here, I want to track the map forward. And when I hit that, you'll see that the tracker adds a bunch of tracking points. And then once it's done tracking forward, you'll see as I sort of scrub back, the power window stays and moves with her face. And then I want to track the power window backwards. And now we've created the tracking data for our power window. And if we do need to make adjustments to our power window after the track is complete, we can just make those adjustments to the power window. We don't have to worry about resetting the tracking data. And it will just track the mat as it moves. So if we find we need to make the power window a little bit larger, a little bit smaller to complete the look that we're going for, we can do that and we don't have to redo our tracking data. And so that's how the woods look was created in the Bird by Gully music video. It's just three nodes. The first node uh, using the primary color correction, the second node using our secondary color correction, and the third node just using a power window and with saturation control to add some focus onto the singer's face. And if we want, we can sort of step back through these. So I'm going to turn these all off. So this is where we started from. And then this is our first node. That was our primary color correction. And then with our second node, that was our secondary color correction. And then with our third node, which is the power window and the desaturated background, that's how we build our look. And if we want to, we can blow this up and move these out of the way. And we can sort of take a look at this. And that's the final look that we've created for this shot. So hopefully this series of video tutorials has been helpful for you and has shown you how you can build a look in DaVinci Resolve using multiple nodes. And even if you're not looking to create this specific look in one of your videos, hopefully now you have a better sense of how individual nodes combine to create a final look.
Thanks so much for watching.